What's up, my fellow investing iguanas? It's your boy Iggy here, and today we're cracking open the Banyan Group's annual report 2023 like a financial treasure chest. Now, I know these reports can sometimes feel as dry as the Sahara, but trust me, this one's packed with juicy insights that could seriously level up your investing game. First off, let's talk about their corporate profile. Banyan Group has transformed from a single luxury brand to a dynamic, multi-brand ecosystem spanning 22 countries. That's right, they've got their fingers in a lot of pies. By the end of 2023, they were operating 75 hotels, 62 spas, and 14 branded residences. Talk about a diverse portfolio. In this video, we're going to dissect seven key slides that give us a behind-the-scenes look at how this global hospitality powerhouse is positioning itself for growth. We'll dive into their diversification strategies, sales and marketing initiatives, and even get a glimpse of how they're keeping their guests satisfied. By the end of this, you'll have the knowledge to make some savvy decisions about whether Banyan Tree Holdings deserves a spot in your portfolio. Slide 1 From the analytical review slide, we can see that Banyan Group's revenue surged by a whopping 21% in 2023, reaching a staggering 327.9 million Singapore dollars. This impressive growth was fueled by higher revenues from the hotel investments and fee-based segments, partially offset by lower revenue from the residences segment. Now, let's talk about costs. While the group's total costs and expenses increased by 14%, the real standouts were the cost of operating supplies, which rose by 26%, and the cost of properties sold, which jumped by a massive 30%. Administrative expenses and salaries also saw notable increases, reflecting the group's higher business activities and a pickup in the hotel business. But here's the kicker, Banyan Group's other income skyrocketed by a jaw-dropping 115%, thanks to gains from the disposal of an investment property in Singapore and higher interest income. This helped offset the rise in administrative and impairment losses on financial assets. Overall, it's clear that Banyan Group's diversified business model, with its three key segments, hotel investments, fee-based, and residences, is paying off big time. The group's ability to navigate challenging market conditions and deliver such strong performance is a testament to its resilience and strategic positioning in the evolving hospitality landscape. Slide 2. First things first, let's talk about the star of the show, Operating Profit. This bad boy saw a 5% increase year over year, which is always a good sign. But wait, there's more. The hotel investment segment, which accounts for a massive chunk of their revenue, saw a whopping 18% jump in operating profit. Talk about a power player. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the 13, Klein and their fee-based segment. While that might sound a little concerning, it's important to remember that this includes services like hotel management, spas, and design. It's possible that this dip is just a temporary hiccup, or perhaps they're shifting their focus to other areas. Moving on to depreciation, we see a 23% increase in the cost of property, plant, and equipment. This could mean that the company has been investing heavily in upgrading their facilities or expanding their operations. Smart move, if you ask me, you gotta spend money to make money, right? Finance costs took a slight dip, which is always a welcome sight. Lower interest rates or some savvy debt restructuring could be the reason behind this. Every penny counts when you're trying to maximize those profits. Now, let's talk about the share of results from associates. This one saw a 15, Klein, which could be a potential red flag. Associates are often key partners or joint ventures, so we'll need to keep an eye on this to see if it's just a temporary blip or a more significant issue. Overall, this company seems to be firing on all cylinders, with their core hotel investments business leading the charge. Sure, there are a few areas that could use some attention, but that's just part of the game. As investors, it's our job to weigh the pros and cons and make informed decisions. Slide 3 the income statement shows Banyan Group's income tax expense increased by $59 million to $9.7 billion in 2023, indicating higher profitability compared to the prior year. The company's net profit attributable to owners grew by over 10% to $31.7 billion. 
These figures point to Banyan Group's strong financial performance and ability to generate higher earnings for shareholders. The cash flow statement reveals Banyan Group generated a massive $40.8 billion in operating cash flows, up significantly from 2022. This provides the company with ample liquidity to fund growth initiatives, repay debt, or return cash to shareholders. However, Banyan Group did utilize $7.7 .7 billion in financing activities, likely for debt repayments or shareholder distributions. While this reduces cash on hand, the strong operating cash flows give Banyan Group flexibility in capital allocation decisions. Overall, the financial metrics depict a company performing well, growing its bottom line at a healthy clip while generating robust cash profits. For investors, Banyan Group could represent an attractive opportunity to invest in a high-quality business with solid financials and growth prospects. Slide 4. Banyan Group appears to have had a strong year in 2023, exceeding pre-pandemic revenue levels and showing signs of a solid recovery. The company's financial health has improved, with better cash flow and a stronger debt-to-equity ratio. There's also positive news for hotel operations, with a significant increase in RevPAR compared to before the pandemic. The statement highlights Banyan Group's focus on technology to improve productivity, efficiency, and guest satisfaction. This aligns well with our audience's interest in how companies leverage technology for better performance and shareholder value. Banyan Group's expansion plans in key regions like Japan, the Middle East, and Mexico offer potential growth opportunities, but also potential risks associated with international diversification. This could be a good area to explore further for our investor-focused audience. Finally, the CEO's emphasis on learning from the pandemic and developing new offerings that cater to evolving travel preferences could be an interesting angle to explore. This could provide valuable insights for our audience on how hospitality companies are adapting to the post-pandemic landscape. Slide 5. This slide offers a comprehensive overview of the company's worldwide destinations, showcasing its presence across various regions and the number of resorts, hotels, spas, and galleries it operates. At first glance, it's evident that the company has established a strong global presence, spanning 22 countries and boasting 75 resorts slash hotels across four major regions, America, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Interestingly, the Middle East and Asia appear to be the company's primary focus areas, with a significant number of resorts slash hotels in countries like Kuwait, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, China, India, and Indonesia. From an investment perspective, this diversified global footprint could be a positive indicator of the company's stability and growth potential. Its presence in emerging markets like Asia and the Middle East suggests that the company is well-positioned to capitalize on the increasing demand for luxury travel and hospitality services in these regions. Moreover, the breakdown of the company's brands, including Vega, Anantara, and Daw, provides insight into the range of offerings and target demographics. This brand diversity could enable the company to cater to a wider customer base and potentially diversify its revenue streams. Overall, the information presented in this slide paints a picture of a well-established, globally diversified company with a strong foothold in key markets. Slide 6. This slide gives us a comprehensive overview of the company's financial performance and position. Looking at the revenue figures, we can see steady growth over the past few years, reaching $327.9 million in the latest period. This indicates a healthy and growing business. The cash and short-term deposits stand at a robust $130.7 million, suggesting the company has strong liquidity to weather any potential storms. The core operating profit of $51.9 million is a positive sign, demonstrating consistent profitability from core operations. Another encouraging metric is the upward trajectory of the net asset value per share, reaching $0.88 cents recently. This reflects the increasing underlying value of the company over time. The five-year highlights provide additional context. We can see the company has maintained consistent profitability and operating margins, suggesting a robust business model and effective cost management. 
Overall, the financial position appears quite strong, growing revenues, healthy liquidity, consistent profitability, and increasing net asset value. As investors, we would be keen to understand the company's future growth plans and strategies to continue this positive momentum. With solid financials as the foundation, this business seems well-positioned for further success. Slide 7. In 2023, Banyan Tree reported a robust group revenue of $371.3 million, up from $327.9 million in 2022. That's a solid jump, showing strong growth despite global economic fluctuations. A big part of this success comes from the diversified portfolio, which isn't just about hotels anymore. They've expanded into residences, wellness, retail, and even membership programs. This strategy isn't just about spreading risk, but also about tapping into new revenue streams that complement their core hotel investments. What's really interesting here is their strategic push into direct sales channels, which boosted their sales contributions by a whopping 27% in 2023 compared to the previous year. This move not only enhances customer relationships, but also sidesteps the hefty fees often associated with third-party booking platforms. It's a smart play in today's digital-first world where direct engagement with customers can lead to higher loyalty and spending. For those of you eyeing investment opportunities, Banyan Tree's approach to diversifying their service offerings and strengthening direct sales channels might signal a resilient business model geared for sustainable growth. All right, my fellow iguanas, there you have it, the Banyan Group's annual report, dissected and decoded for your investing pleasure. We've uncovered their strategies for diversification, direct sales, and guest satisfaction, all of which could be crucial factors in their future growth and success. Remember, knowledge is power in the world of investing, and the more you understand about the companies you're considering, the better equipped you'll be to make those sweet, sweet gains. So if you found this video insightful and want to continue leveling up your financial wisdom, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the Investing Iguana channel. I'll be back soon with more in-depth analysis and easy-to-understand breakdowns of the latest financial reports, market trends, and investing strategies. Together, we'll navigate the complex world of finance and work towards achieving our personal visions of financial freedom. Until next time, stay savvy, my friends.